Okay, welcome back you guys. It is your girl Shawnee here and in today's video we're gonna be doing a deep cleaning my messy house today. So I need to go get a few supplies. So let's go. I'm the one to clean this up. Yes it is. No, it's not. Fine. Fine. You boring? I need to get this. Hey you guys, so these are all the products that I picked up from the store so we can clean this dirty house. Let's get started. First, I'm just starting in the kitchen to get rid of those dirty dishes and placing them in the dishwasher so I can clean the sink. And now I'm using this soap for the dishwasher because I don't have any more dishwash pods, so this is the next best thing. And now I'm moving things out of the way so I can clean out the sink. Okay, as you see, I'm wetting the sink so I can put the bleach down and I'll put multi-purpose cleaner as well just to give the sink a little deeper cleaning. And as you see here, I'm going to be using that bristle brush that we got from the store just so I can scrub the sink a little better. If you got it, it ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no more forgetting. No more than emotionally invested. Showing you all my imperfections. What's the first place in your house that you guys clean? Mine, as we can see, is the kitchen. Leave in the comments down below which one is yours. And after I clean off the counter, we're going to be cleaning off this air fryer, getting the junk off of it, and then I'll be going in with my Bang multi-purpose cleaner and wiping it off as well. Okay, so next I head over to the stove top and I get my oven and grill cleaner, spray it liberally. Uh, usually I could just wipe it down but for those stuck on messes I'll have to scrub it with a scrub brush or even the metal Brillo pads but it does come off. Heading inside the oven, I spray the same cleaner we used on the stove top inside the oven, taking the pots out in the rack. And to give it more of a deeper clean, I go in there with a scrub brush and just scrub the oven. Make sure I get all that baked on food and drippings off. After I'm done scrubbing everything, I go in with a rag and wipe off all the excess cleaner off. And after that, I get this duster that I found from the store. It comes with the handle and three disposable duster sheets. I also use these drain sticks just to keep the drains smelling clean and fresh and to prevent any clogs. Just putting the duster together 
this so I can dust this in and then I'm not dying. Sweeping the floor for any trash before I mop the kitchen and the dining room. Before I start mopping, I'm going in with these fleece wipes to clean off the trash can to get all the buildup of food from when we throw the trash away. And after I cleaned off the trash can, I get my mop water ready to mop the floor. And now I'm just picking up the shoes out the hallway so I could sweep and mop the floor to the hallway entrance. Just going in with the Mr. Clean Eraser to wipe off any handprints that I may see from my kids. Now it's time to clean off the dining room table, time to clear all the paper and unnecessary toys that don't belong in there. And now I'm going to be going in with Bang just to wipe the table off. Okay, so the next big mess to tackle up is the living room. I was just watching my girl Leah's face as I cleaned up. I'm going in with the carpet deodorizer before I hit it with the vacuum. Now headed into the kids bathroom, I'm just putting the bleach everywhere I need to put it before I start scrubbing it. And for extra cleaning purposes, I'm using that CLR spray we got from the store. And now I'm just straining up the little baskets that I have in there. I spray the little spray before I go in and clean the sink out. And I'm gonna hit it with the Febreze, light a candle, and then I'm gonna go in and mop the floor. After mopping the floor, I go in with the Mr. Clean Eraser and wipe down the cabinet and the store. After that, we head to the kids' room and put their shoes up and I'm putting their clothes away as well. Okay, now heading to my dirty room. This is day two because I was too tired after cleaning all the other rooms. So I'm just cleaning my bed off and then we're getting all the junk off the floor and hanging some clothes up as well. Now, as you can see, I have my little helper to help me clean this room up. And those, those bag, pink bags that I'm putting in the box are Journey's birthday party goodie bags. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see me prep for her party. Now we're going to move on to the closet. I'm putting things away and as well throwing dirty clothes into a dirty clothes basket. Okay, now headed off to the last bathroom, my master bathroom. We're going to clean the toilet, the tub, and the sink as well as mop the floor. And if you lasted this long into the video, put drop a soap emoji down below in the comments. I'm just going in with the toilet scrubber to scrub the toilet off and then wiping it down with this old exfoliating pad. Don't worry, we don't use that anymore just to clean up. Now I'm going in and scrubbing the tub. Now I'm headed off to spray the mirrors down so I can clean them off. Now as you 
you can see here, I'm just showing you the floor we have to mop. I'm showing you that the tub is now clean and the shower head. And the sink doesn't even clean off a little bit, but now we're going in and mopping the floor now. And thank you for watching the video cleaning with me. See you in the next one.